welcome back and welcome to this channel uh, guys why should we hire you this is the most common questions which is being asked by interviewer uh, not only nowadays even earlier also right no matter whichever domain whichever uh, area you belong to right whether you are SAP, non-SAP, whatever it is, but this is one of the most common questions. Even my students also, they have asked multiple times, so what should we say uh, if, if anybody asks such kind of questions, right? So I'll tell you guys, most of the people, of course, get confused uh, that like, what like will be a perfect answer for this one, right? So here in this uh, tutorial, here in this video, I'll let you know what would be the perfect answer for this question. I'll tell you guys, first of all, if you talk about why should we hire you, right? Why should we hire you? It means now interviewer want to know something uh, exclusive from your side in the sense, not exclusive in the sense like you have to elaborate, like whatever your expertise are there, they want to know that how, uh, what kind of expertise you are having, right? How you are different than other, isn't it? So whatever your skill is there, expertise is there that you have to explain. Right. And one more thing I'll tell you guys, no one is fresher. No one is fresher. I mean to say, I'll tell you two things are there. Either some people are having corporate experience, some people are not having. Right. So the people who are having corporate world experience and all these people are called experienced candidate. And the people who doesn't have uh, or uh, any candidate who doesn't have corporate world experience and all these people are called fresher people. Right. But even freshers are also having certain skill guys. Isn't it? You can't say like freshers means you are having certain skills. So you have to, whatever skills you are having that you have to explain. So two things are there, right? First of all, if you are a fresher, then what do you have to say, right? I have written down here. Very simple. Since all the subscribers are here on this channel, of course, you guys belong to SAP back background and also I have quoted the example of SAP itself, right? If you hold any other skills and all, you can add the respective skill. Okay. So now here, look at here for freshers. What do you have to say? Even if I'm a fresher, right? Even if I'm a fresher, but I'm having all the skill that you're looking for, right? I'm having a very good exposure of SAP finance modules. I've taken example of finance. You can take other module also. So I'm having a very good exposure of SAP finance module, which includes account payable, receivable, general ledger, asset accounting, along with integrations. Apart from the SAP skills, I'm good at communication that make me perfectly fit for this job. Simple guys. Uh, now here, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, if you have the basic communications, you can, uh, you know, like whatever the last line is there, you can leave it up. But at least I hope that everybody are having like, uh, you know, communication nowadays. Isn't it? Basic means even if we are having communication, it's okay. You can say that even I'm having, you know, I'm a good at communications that make me perfectly fit for this job. Or else if you have any additional skill, you can add that skill also. Okay. I'm not saying that you have to add communication itself. Apart from this, any additional skill, if you're having, you can add. But this is going to be a best format, right? Here. This is going to be best format in this way. If you're going to respond, it really it's going to create some kind of impression because most of the people they're confused. They don't know what to say. Oh my God. They ask like, okay, why should we hire you? Right. I'm this, I'm that, isn't it? So no, you have to give a perfect answer. So whatever your skills are there, that skill you have explained here, you're, you're telling about your expertise and all. Right. So that's what you have to say, guys, you look at here. You can note it down. You can write it down for freshers. If you guys are a freshers, look at here. Even fresher also, if you guys, if you people are trying for this SAP job, so everybody are taking the training, right? So if you have taken the training and if you're good at this SAP skill and all, why don't you say, isn't it? That you're having like, I'm having very good exposure of this SAP finance module, which includes like whatever sub modules, uh, you're like stronger in like, account payable, receivable, general ledger, asset accounting, along with the integrations. These are the important things which you have to explain, right? And apart from this, I'm good at communication. That make me perfectly fit for this job, right? So exactly in this way, you have to explain if you are a fresher. Now, the next one is if you are 
experienced right experience means you can have three years four years five years whatever experience you are having two years right so experience means almost same but look at here as per the requirement of this job i've got skill and experience of three years instead of three years you can have four year five year whatever it is right so as per this job requirement right i've got skill of ex ex skill and experience of three years working in a reputed company as a cp consultant no matter whatever company it belongs to guys whichever company is there but say reputed company itself okay don't say this is a small company or large company whatever it is you say it is a reputed company right so as per the requirement of this job i have got skill and experience of 3 years working in a reputed company as a sap consultant being a sap fico consultant i have expertise in account payable receivable general ledger general ledger asset integrations etc and dot 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 right whichever additional skills you want to add here you can add okay if you have certain other things and all that you can everything you can add whichever you are having right and then after adding all these skills at last what is happening guys at last you have to add this one and that is why i think that all these expertise perfectly fit for this role whatever expertise you have explained of course so all these expertise perfectly fit for this role so this is what you have to say this is called clever answer smart answer right instead of uh, giving answer in an unprofessional way uh, this is how professionally at least you have to say something which is going to create a kind of impression on the interview right so in such a way in this way if you guys are going to respond uh, you know it is going to create a good impression compared to all the people whoever is there in this interview right so this is how you have to answer guys that's all in this session